Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Joe Brady. I'm the Color Systems Manager for Mac Group. And hopefully you're here to learn something about color. You're dealing with two different ways of describing color. You've got your monitors and projectors, which are RGB. And you've got a print, which is, if it's an inkjet, it's a CMYK ink on paper, which is also going to be affected by what lights you're looking at it. Calibration is setting your monitor to a known set of standards. If your monitor's set too bright, what's going to happen to the shadows and the shadow areas of your image? You're going to have all this great detail and definition in your shadow areas because your monitor's turned way up. Then you go out to print, it all goes black and muddy. Profiling means creating a, a known set of response for how your monitor displays color. For example, your monitor's a little blue. Well, when you go do a profile, the device will pick that up and it will correct for that before you go out to print. And I'm gonna bring up the color monkey. This thing will do everything you could ask for. It will profile and calibrate the monitor. It will create custom printer profiles for your printer and paper. It will even calibrate and profile LCD projectors. Laptops only have a percentage of the color space. Here is Adobe RGB. I'm gonna hold this and bring up sRGB. There's sRGB and we can see the pieces that are missing in sRGB compared to Adobe RGB. The most generic CMYK printer can print colors outside of sRGB. If I bring up my laptop, ooh, see what just happened? See how much smaller my laptop got compared to Adobe RGB? Color Monkey's calibrated but not ready to measure. So I have to spin the middle around so that it matches on the screen. It's ready to go, I click on next, it says hang it on the screen. That's where the little pouch comes in. So this thing is a neoprene pouch. It covers the color monkey and it also protects it. And it also is, this is a spectrophotometer. This strap is weighted. It's the counterweight for the screen. I just hang it on the screen, click next, and off it goes. So what's going on here is the software is telling the screen, give me whatever color. It's going to go through red, green, blue, and shades of gray. So for example, after it's done doing the red ones, it's going to show 100% green. The spectrophotometer in here then reads that color. Invariably, what happens is what it reads is not exactly what it's been told. When do you want to redo it? You can set it anywhere from one to four weeks. I do mine at least once a week. Monitors drift a lot. Also, when you're doing this, make sure your monitor's been on at least an hour. It takes an hour for them to warm up and kind of stabilize. So after I got my profile, next time I'm in Photoshop and Photoshop says, give me 100% green on the screen, that command goes through the profile, which is like a filter. And the profile says, remember, if you really want 100% green on the screen, you got to take out 10% blue. So now let's get a profile for our printer. So I choose a printer. Any printer that you have installed in your system will show up. Typically, you'll name it <clears throat> for the paper. You need a profile for each paper you use. So it tells me, print out this chart. So I go to my print settings. Here's the most important one, this color controls thing. You've got to make sure color management and the printer driver is turned off, and it should always be turned off. Because as soon as your printer starts playing with the color, then everything we've done was just a waste of time. So this is printed out on Somerset Velvet Fine Art Paper. So now I have to scan this print in. You click, drag across, let go. You've got to start on white and end on white. I just scanned in the first 50 patches. It's trying to see, okay, what state is my printer in? Is my printer a little off? Or maybe one of my nozzles slightly clogged? Not enough to cause a blockage, but just to cut down an ink flow a little bit. Maybe it's making my printer print a little magenta. This five to 10 minute part, papers take a lot longer than that to dry, 24 hours. Now, the print will be dry to the touch much sooner than that. It'll probably be dry in 15 or 20 minutes. Problem is the colors darken until they really set. What I typically do is that first page, I'll print them out for all my papers. I let them sit, I'll scan them in tomorrow. Now, some of you may ask, well, why can't I just use the profile that came with the paper or came with the printer driver I downloaded from Epson or Canon or HP? Problem with those is they're generic. They're for that model of printer. But your room might be warmer or it might be more humid or it might be colder. Those all affect the print. If you're not doing your own printing, then you just need one of these. This is a colorimeter. This does just monitors. There's two flavors of these things. The i1 Display LT and the i1 Display 2. The diff main difference between the LT and the 2 is the 2 will get your monitor brightness under control. 
LT does not do that. Okay, so I'm gonna open an image. I wanna see how it's gonna print before I go to print. So it's under view, proof setup, custom. Here's where I, t I wanna see how it's gonna print. So I go to my device to simulate and I tell it the profile. Now there's two different rendering intents that you're gonna use perceptual and relative color metric. My paper can't do two things. It can't print 100% black, meaning 000. And it's not gonna be 100% white because the paper has a little color in it of itself. So clicking on simulate paper color will give you a better indication how it's gonna print. There's also something else that goes on here and that's the gamut warning. See the gray that just appeared here? Those are colors that that printer paper combination cannot print. It's going to print a red, it just cannot print that red. It's beyond the printer's ability. Perceptual, let's imagine this is our color gamut. This is the ability of our printer to print. That red on the prow of that boat is out here. Perceptual takes that red, moves it into the circle of the ability, and it pushes the other colors out of its way so that the relationship between that red and the other reds stays the same. Relative color metric takes that red, sticks it in, doesn't move any of the other colors. Now I print it. The default on color handling is printer manages colors if you've never done it before. If you do that, then everything we've just done was a waste of time. So I tell it Photoshop manages colors. Then I tell it my printer profile. Here's the one we just created, JR. And was it relative color metric or perceptual I chose? Then I click on print and guess what happens? The print comes out like it looked on the monitor. Thanks for coming.